Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've got another hover effect for you today. We're using the free version of Elementor here and the free WordPress 2020 theme that comes with WordPress. We've got a nice little image of a car here with an icon in the bottom left corner. When we hover over the icon, it's going to pop up a little info box about our car there when we get off it's going to pop that back down to the corner and that's a nice little feature to have on your site it's really easy to do we've got to use a bit of custom CSS to do this today but don't let that put you off any CSS that we use I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it and manipulate it however you wish so let's get started I've got a page open here with Elementor page builder enabled I've got three columns there's one there there's one in the middle for a buffer just for this demonstration and I've got another column on the right here let's get that navigator out of the way and the way this is going to work today we've got an image in our column and on top of that we've got our info box that we're making pop up like this so let's get started first thing I want to do is put an image background in my column so let's go up to a little dark tab go to style and background type we're on the first one classic there here's where you put your image just click on it and choose your image I'll use the same one as I used before for expediency and there it is if you've only got one column you probably won't see anything because your column's got no height at the moment because you haven't put anything in it mine's inheriting the height from the one next door so we can see our image okay while we're in here we're going to be targeting this with a bit of CSS too so let's give it a CSS class which will enable us to target it and to do that let's go over to the advanced tab and I'll give it the class of IC box icon box if you like call it anything that you want it's got to make sense to you though and it's got to be unique great so we're happy with our column here and we want to put a info box over the top of it so to do that let's go back to our matrix we can roll down and here's an icon box that's what I'm using for this today as you can see it's popped it in here nicely I want to change that icon to an info type icon to do that just hover over the icon itself we're on the content tab go to the icon library or you can upload your own if you want I'm going to go to the library I'm going to put a search in for info there we go and that's the one I'll use right there hit insert there it is I haven't got any real text about this so I'm just going to leave the generic this is a heading and the lorem ipsum below if you want to link this to something like a sales page for the car or something else put your link in right here below if you're linking to an external website I should check open in a new window so your site stays up if not just leave it as it is okay let's move on to our styling and the icon itself I'm gonna make that white here it is right here I'm just gonna click on the color and pull it over to white top left corner fantastic now I think I might want to take it down in size a little bit let's say 30 pixels you can slide it you can type it in and you can fine tune with these little arrows to the right there okay that's great let's go on down to our content now the title itself I'm gonna make that red again I'm just clicking on it click on near the color you want and let's just pull it up to red as you can see that's turned that red now spacing wise I'll leave it as it is for the moment let's go on down to our description I think I might make that uh, title capitalized so let's go into typography and we can go down to transform and make it uppercase or capital fantastic and our description I'm just going to turn that white so we can see it again click on the color pull it up top left corner that's great okay 
Now I'm going to give this a colored background. I'm going to make it the same red as this. We're going to lose that heading initially, but it's okay because what we've got to do is push this whole thing down till it's in this corner. So we won't be seeing this initially. Then when it hovers, I'm going to change the background color. So you'll be able to see that. So let's go to our advance. We'll go down to background. And I'm going to give it a simple red color. Like I say, we'll be losing that title initially, but we'll get it back. So I'm going to click on the color. I'm going to make it red again. Great. And when we hover over it, I'm going to make it, I've switched from normal to hover over here and I'm going to give it a black background, but I want to be able to see some of the car through it. So let's take this one. Black is the bottom left corner there. So I'm going to drag it over there. When I hover, you see it's turned black there, but I want to be able to see some of the car. So I'm going to take the opacity, just slide it down the bottom there, down to about halfway probably. Now we've got a bit of dark in the background there, which makes it easier to read the text, but we can still see that nice car in the background. Okay. I've got to make this a lot bigger because I want it to fill the whole content here. And I don't want a board around the sides either. So let's go into our column and we'll take the border away there and we're on the advanced tab. I'm just going to stick a zero in the padding. And if you've got that checked like it is as default, if you do one, it'll do all of them for you. There we go. So we can fill out our whole thing here. Well, let's go back in here and just add a bit of padding to our module itself that's sitting on top of the picture there. I'm going to give it 10 pixels all around. So that's 10 pixels top. 10 pixels bottom left and right I want a bit more on the left and right so let's uncheck this and you can give it whatever you want to on the left and right let's give it 30 right 30 left and I want a lot more on the bottom I probably want another 150 or 200 on there so let's just say try 150 not quite let's try 160 not quite just pull it out with your little arrows that's so covering everything fantastic there's our little info section when we hover over it we'll be able to see the title and the image now what i need to do is when it's like that i want to push it all the way down to the bottom and i want to push it over to the left hand side now we can't do that at the moment with what we've got here well we could do a bit of it with the margin but i'm going to do it with css so to do that, I've got to give this a class also. And again, on the advanced, let's give it a class. We gave our column the class of IC box. So let's give this IC just BX. You can't give it the same one, but you can give it something similar so it still makes sense. Great. Let's update that. Now we've got everything in place. Let's go to our customizer and do the little hover thing. And to get to the customizer, you need to go to your dashboard, down to appearance, and then customize. And that's common to most WordPress themes. And at the bottom, you'll find a little box that says additional CSS. And this is where we're going to write our code today. Okay, the column itself that's got the image in it, we gave the class of IC box. So let's give it a title. It's a good idea to give your CSS code a title. That way you can find it if you write a lot. I tend to write a lot. So the title is forward slash star star forward slash. And then anything you write between the two stars will not be read as code. So I'm going to say icon diagonal box pop up. That'll do. Just something that tells you what it is. Now we need the class that we gave our column there which is ICBOX, so it's a class, it has a period or a dot in front of it, ICBOX. Open and close some curly brackets, and within that, we can put our code. Now, what I wanna do is give our column a fixed height, and I'm gonna give it 400 pixels, because that's the same as our one next door. And I also wanna tell it when we push this down here, we don't wanna see it spilling out of the bottom. So we'll say height, 400 pixels. 
and to stop it flowing out the bottom we'll say overflow colon hidden that way if we push our module down below the bottom of the column it's not going to expand the column you're not going to see it it's just going to fall it's going to disappear once it goes below this line so we need to do that next and to do that let's attack our module class and we gave our module the class of icbx wasn't it similar icon box okay so what do we want it to do well the first thing i want to do is push it down so we only see a bit of our box here now i know this is 30 pics and i know i've got 10 pics on the top which makes 40 pics so it'd be nice to have another 10 on the bottom so it just shows sort of 10 and 10 let's try that then we know this is 400 so if I push it down by 360 or 350 should probably do it so let's try that I'm going to say margin top I'm going to say 350 that's pretty close that's going to work actually which is great but I don't really want it right on the bottom there I don't want it all the way across the bottom I just want it on the one side here and to do that I'm going to use the margin on the right hand side and squish it across so we'll say margin right let's try 75 percent i'm not sure that will be quite enough 75 percent that's not too bad i like it a little bit skinnier so let's call it 80 percent obviously you do yours exactly how you want to do it so we've got our little box in the position that we want it now but when we hover over it i need it to pop back up and show us all our, our information that we need here So let's just copy this and I'll drop down a couple I'm going to paste it back in there and we give it a colon after the X no space after the X and a colon and then no space again and the word hover so we can set a hover state what happens when we hover over it so when we hover over it, I want the margin top to be zero and i want the margin right to be zero as well so let's try that let's see what happens now fantastic as you can see it's just popping up to the top there now to me i mean it's working but that's far too quick i'd like to slow mine down so it's more of a gradual bit more like this one so it almost diagonally fades in like that as you can see when we hover over it we get our background color and everything too so what we can do is give it a transition duration and we need to put that in the regular state not the hover state so let's do that put a semicolon there each line of code should really have a semicolon on unless it's the last one in a series if you don't put it there it will not read the next line so make sure you put those in if you're adding more and let's fix this with transition dash duration and the time we want it to actually take so I'm gonna guess about around about a third of a second so that's 0.3 seconds and that should pretty much do it there we go that's much more gradual and that's a nice little effect and you see it's taking the same amount of time when we take our mouse on to collapse back down to where it was so let's publish our changes and we'll go to our page and that's before we even had it there let's refresh this page and it should appear and let's see if it's going to work there it is when I hover over the image itself nothing when I go down to the icon box boom it pops up with our info there and like I say that's a nice little effect and once you've done the one you can apply that class or those classes to any column and the modules on top of it and it'll do the same thing 
So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.